right, man. Y'all, y'all ready for motherfucking OG Frankie and Shawty Rock tonight, man? It's gonna get real antibiotic around this bitch. Oh, you understand me now? Yes. yes. It's gonna get real 800 amoxicillin around this bitch tonight. You know what I'm talking about? You know, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna clear the air, trichomonas, gonorrhea, and chlamydia today. We, they ain't got shit for syphilis or herpes, so we can't really fuck with that, but, you know, we gonna clear the air. Y'all gotta let me know. Is y'all ready for OG Frankie? Y'all ready? Cause I'm ready. Hit that light back there, big dog. Put that light on. I'm ready. Is y'all ready for OG Frankie? I'm ready. Y'all ready? Sing. Y'all better be. Sing. Y'all ready? Baby, I'm ready. Baby, I'm ready. <laughs> to give you Baby, all I'm of ready. my shit. I'm ready, y'all. Y'all see the shirt? Y'all see the shirt? You see that? You see that? You see that? Let them see the shirt, baby. You see the shirt. Mama, you gonna have to tell, uh, pull your stomach in cause you got rolls. You showing rolls and shit. Don't try to show the stomach. No, these pants too damn tight. Uh, you got some motherfucking jelly rolls. $8,000 tummy. You ready? You see that? Do you see that? Ain't no rolls in here, baby. She just Ain't no rolls in here. Fuck is you talking about? She just unzipped her but pants. You motherfucking right. Bitch, don't put me on blast, Not, not, not butterflies, but roaches. <laughs> flying roaches just came out of there. That bitch said roaches and flying roaches just came. Y'all check his ass tonight about me. Is y'all ready for OG Frankie and Shawty Rock to go live tonight? Uh -huh. If y'all ready for us to go live tonight, drop some motherfucking glass emojis. Drop some wine bottle emojis under here right now, and we gonna go motherfucking loud tonight. We gonna cut this shit, and we gonna come back, and we gonna come back and full of and go it's loud gonna tonight. Be real deep tonight, so put the motherfucking babies in the bed. This grown folk talk tonight. We doing grown folk time tonight. Yes. You know grown what I'm saying? Folk talk tonight, y'all. So get y'all dressed, get ready. Uh -huh. We go. Gonna... Ask them what time they want us to go loud. No, nah, cause I ain't trying to get them no time, cause they be on. They... We not on y'all time. Y'all on our time. <laughs> Drop, y'all don't want us to go live because if y'all wanted us to go live, y'all would be dropping the emojis. Okay, okay, Rachel, C Coley, you the okay, okay, I don't know, Asian dude, Dow, no, Temple, DeAndre, I can't even, I stopped going to school a long time ago, but I'm saying all y'all names so wrong. Stupid. Blame it on WEB Du Bois. I'm saying wrong too, y'all. But if y'all want us to go motherfucking live tonight, let us know. Oh, live from Mississippi. My yeah, God, yeah, you from Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah. Where you from, money? You from money, Shelby Jackson to Cleveland. Yeah. Where you from, baby? Come on, South. We you know coming down there, y'all. Yeah, we gonna take some trips, man, yeah, down to the South, trips man. When get hot. Is y'all ready for OG motherfucking Frankie mm -hmm. and Shawty Rod to go live? They talking about now. Now we ain't doing no now. Drop them motherfucking champagne bottles. Drop them champagne, Drake. Get the fuck off my live. Bitch, I'm locked. Y'all ready, man? If y'all ready, let OG Frankie know y'all ready. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this is what I'm gonna do. If y'all ready, somebody request to say something to OG Frankie and let her know what y'all want. What y'all y'all ready for tonight? And I'm gonna accept y'all along here so y'all can talk y'all shit right quick to OG Frankie before we go live. <laughs> if y'all ready, you know what I'm saying? Blame it on do boys on phone on grade. Blame it on all them dumbass teachers. <laughs> if y'all ready for OG Frankie to go live, tap in right now. Request to to talk to us right now, and I'm gonna accept you on the motherfucking live, and I'm gonna let you talk to OG Frankie right now, live and direct on this motherfucker. Live right now. Who, who come on, man? Who want to pop up? Pop up, somebody. Pop up. Request. Request, and I'm gonna let y'all talk to Frankie and say, yeah, we want you to go live, baby. You know what I'm saying? All that ass shit. Yeah. And y'all, so you got to give us some time so we can be here. Eight o'clock. What time, y'all? Ten. 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 Eight o'clock. Yeah. Nah, hell no. Nah. Ten sound better. Yeah, ten o'clock. Cause they gonna be well rested and everything. They gonna be the <laughs> right. kids gonna be in the bed. Okay. And okay. Time. Let's see what she gotta say. Let's He's see. Gonna be Boyfriends. Ooh, come on now. Mm, mm, mm. Let me... You see something, G.E.? <laughs> Backwards, huh? Time, upside down, huh? Damn, baby, what you got? Boost mobile, baby? I'm trying to get you on this motherfucker. Yeah, you, yeah, you got boost mobile, baby. She got boost mobile. I ain't gonna say her name, but she know she got boost. Man, y'all already for to go loud tonight, man. See, okay, 10 o'clock it motherfucking is. 10 o'clock, no later than 10. It's going motherfucking down. OG Frankie, shout it rock. We got a squirrel in the building. We got a silver back in the building. It's going motherfucking down tonight. You hear me? Ball here, folks. Tell them what's popping tonight. <laughs> mama, tell them. Tell them, mama. Boyfriend. Uh, grateful boyfriend. Grateful <laughs> boyfriend. Hey, hey, Tommy. Hey, mama. Tell them niggas what you got on your head. What you got? Bitch, I got a bald head. <laughs> Bitch, it's bald head by choice. Fuck you you feel me? Oh, gee, they say, OG, give them a little something right now. Yeah. Give them, no, give mama. 
Don't play with these people. They come to see you. Give these people a little something. Mama, you can give them a little something. Okay, old girl just gave you a, she just gave you an ungrateful boyfriend. Give her, throw a little something out there. These okay, people, what the, the, the scenario is as far as what? 10.30, 10.30 it is. I can't, I can't. Mama, so you gonna go to sleep? I'm not ready, I'm not at ready. At 10.30? No, 10.30. No, okay, 10, 10, 10, 30. so please, you can't I say can't nothing? Because I got to think about that for a while, because it's all type of scenarios with an ungrateful boyfriend. It's all type of scenarios, so I got to sit down and think about that, y'all. So you got to think now. Yeah, I got to think you about You weren't that. even thinking when we first started yeah, okay. this. You was coming off the top letting them know what time it was. It's the menopause. That's all, ladies. No, it ain't no menopause. It's just all types of ungrateful shit. Give me something what you mean ungrateful, and I'll come at your ass. Baby girl, give us an example yeah, and I'm of call, ungrateful. I'm Give us an example of an ungrateful boyfriend so we can do it. It's 1030, baby. Right now, at this point in time, I think it's motherfucking 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. That when you, you got, I mean, no, I ain't going to say that. She going to have to say something. Mama, they said you got to ponder on it. <laughs> she got to ponder on it. What okay. else? You saying ungrateful. You do any and everything for a motherfucker? First of all, the shit that you do for a man is not going to change a man or not going to make a man respect you or want you. Well, let me zoom in on So you. what you mean? Do ungrateful man. What are you doing? You you buying shit? You buying them? Mm. Mm? What, what mm. is it? You got to tell me something. What are you doing? Because buying a motherfucker something, giving a motherfucker some pussy every day, giving a motherfucker some head every day, that ain't going to make a man move like you want him to move or love you. Mm. Like you want him to love you or stay with you and be with you. Mm. I don't give a fuck, right? Actually, really? Tell I don't no. give a fuck what you do for a man. Mm. That mm. ain't going to, the shit that you do for a man is not going to make a man respect you or be with you mm. or, or be in love with you. Mm. Mm. A man has to want that. Shit. It don't, really, it don't have shit to do with us. Mm. If they with us, because they want to be there. Mm. It ain't got shit to do. You can give a nigga money all motherfucking day long. Mm. If he don't want to be there, he ain't going to be there. All mm. he's going to be doing is taking your money. You can take him on trips, bitch. Mm. You can whine and down him. You can swallow nut. You can let him fuck you in the ass. Because half of y'all feel, if I let him do anything he want to do to me in a physical, he ain't going nowhere. Bitch, he'll fuck you mm. and lick your ass and your booty, mm. and go up in your ass, mm. put his dick in your mouth, and bust in your mouth, mm. and he gonna leave that same day, and go do it to another bitch. Because if you, if you let, so what you if you let a nigga way? give you some shit, you gonna take some shit. So, and I'm gonna tell you something. At the end of the day, you girls, <laughs> the shit that y'all be trying to do to keep them, Y'all wasting y'all time. Oh, OG. And we they gonna, just got to. OG, just gotta, we going to give them a little bit of this. We going to be. That was some dope shit. I want you to speak on this. What? There be as mamas that's jealous of their kids. Mothers who time have passed them and now their daughter got the torch and she's so jealous of her daughter because she her daughter doing it better than she ever should have done. Basically, her mother. Basically, the, 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 the daughter has something that she always wanted. Maybe this girl got a man that really take care of her, that respects her. You know what I'm saying? And he's, he's whining and dying and her, giving her the world. So, Some mothers did not have that from men. Being loved for real, uh, uh, being whined and dying, sucking out, uh, giving them money for a business to start a business. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And some mamas did have a nigga doing that with them. They just didn't play the game right. See, it's a different time. These young girls not getting money from ballers and scammers. They buying boutiques, yeah. storefronts. They 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 find the vendors, right? Yeah. Back in your day, yeah. the hoes was buying furs and taking pictures in that big that's ass shell. That's it. And then they would then. I can only, I can, I can feel honestly me? say the women, uh, uh, you know, the the the, uh, the women, not little girls. The women today is they they securing their bag. They securing their own bag, and if they got a man with a bag, they making sure he helped them get 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 they shit up off the ground, like boutiques. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Hair, uh, beauty salons, whatever. These bitches on their money. I can honestly say this this generation of women are on their shit. Mm -hmm. They are. They on their shit. It's, it, and that's what I say. It's about independence, lady. It's okay for a man to take care of you. But to me, really coming into a relationship without nothing, something got to be wrong with you. Something got to be seriously wrong with you if you want to come into a relationship with absolutely nothing. I can understand you sitting here saying, well, I want to see if he, if he's for me and not my money. Bitch, you can have a little bit of money. And you, if you got it, 
and he begging for it, that ought to let you know right there. Mm, mm, mm. He there for the money. I cannot get in a relationship and say, oh, I just want to build with you when I first meet you or, or get to know you. No, I got to have my bag before I enter into a relationship. I'm okay, sorry. and that's all the fuck y'all getting right now. Live from the motherfucking backseat, it's OG Frank Gee. And you got me coming live and direct in the front seat, y'all, 10 motherfucking 30. You like that? No, he was doing I know, because you still wanted to go. No, no we're going to stop you because 1030, they want you. That. We already talked about that, having your own independency, going into a relationship. Like I said, with me, I'm 54, ladies. Ain't no way in the world I meet somebody and I don't have my independency. So what the fuck I was doing? What the fuck I was doing? Because in your 20s and your 30s, you're finding yourself, right? You're finding yourself. By 40s, you should have your shit together. So you telling me at the age that I'm in? I'm going to come into a relationship with not nothing. I'm going to tell you, mama. Because you got a lot of bitches out there walking around, baddies, but ain't got a pot to piss in or a wizard to throw it out of. Now, look. That shit don't mean you nothing. You know what I just said? you don't have independency. I just said today, it's bitches right now, 40 years old, shaking their ass in the club and credit score 300. It's niggas going to the strip club, throwing dollars, and credit score is 200. Or in there throwing type, that type of money and got a whole family at home and a crap about giving the Or a stay with a motherfucker. So what I'm saying is like, the people, once you, I, my, my, my little sister called me the other day, mama, your daughter, my little sister, Ty. Mm -hmm. She said, Rock, D, I don't know who raised these bitches, but at, but at 25 years old, she 30, she 39. Yeah. She said at 25. I wasn't attracted to the same motherfuckers I was attracted to when I was 24. Mm. She said, when I hit 25, I step my game up. I don't want a nigga on the block mm -hmm. with, a, with, a, with a duffel bag. I want a nigga with a briefcase now. Yeah. I want a nigga with a 401k. Not a nigga out there trying to make cake. You know what I'm saying? You got to step your game up. And what I say, like, a lot of bitches get to 25. They still attracted to the same type of nigga. They get mm -hmm. to 30. They still attracted mm -hmm. to the same type of nigga. Yes. The bitch will get to 40. Yeah. And still be attracted yeah. to the same motherfucking shit she was attracted yeah. to when she was 20. At that point in your life, mama, you need to go out back in the backyard and put a gun in your motherfucking mouth. Nah, don't do that shit because y'all like us and y'all listen to us. Y'all might do it. But no, some people are just like mere animals. They just you in the fucking way. in the mirror and get your shit together. They just in the way. Sometimes you got to stand in the mirror and tell yourself some real shit. You do. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, you, you beautiful. Right. You're beautiful inside out, but you still ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. Because mm. I can tell y'all, I've been in one relationship that I had my shit together. Now, don't that sound sad? I'm 54 years old, and only one relationship I came in with my shit together. So I may look good. I might got a bad body. But I ain't got a pot to piss in, mm. nor a window to throw it out of. And have any of y'all sat down and realized y'all with these niggas? What have y'all accomplished? With these niggas. With these niggas that y'all with. <laughs> Say it again. What, what have y'all accomplished with these niggas that y'all with? Sit, up, sit down and think about it. And I know it's a lot of females with a nigga that they've been with year after year after year after year after year. Go and look. And what do you have? Some of y'all don't have shit. Some of y'all ain't accomplished shit. All y'all got is a filter. All y'all got is a fucking self. Some women require nothing but dick on a resume. Mm, mm, nothing mm. but dick on a resume, and that's all they that's all they require is dick. And it should be way more than a nigga just writing dick Thanks. on a resume. But just think about it, y'all. And I had to do that some years ago in my life. I looked around my house. I didn't have shit, and he can contest to it. I didn't even have motherfucking furniture, but I'm out getting $200 nails. Mm -mm -mm. I'm out buying fix at Akira. And it's some real motherfucking shit. But we want to blame it on the motherfucking man. And that's some shit that I didn't have back in the day. All I looked at, he got some good dick. Mm. Or he got some money. But then I woke up and realized, bitch, what do you got? Mm. Fucking with another bitch nigga. It ain't yours. What baby. do you Give got? Give me some more that, baby. What the fuck do you got? And bitches don't what ask they self that. Man. So tell them bitches what they need to ask they self what when they ask got? about a nigga what shit. You, what, what do you got? What did you build with this man? What can you look back and say, I got this with this man? Mm. Can you look back? What are you doing? What do you have with the same man? What do you have? Have y'all build anything? Did y'all get y'all dreams? Come on. Come on.
A lot of motherfuckers is together and you ain't got, you You can't sit here and say, damn, we didn't do nothing together. Mm, mm, mm. We didn't do shit. We didn't, what I have you accomplished? It. And all no, I'm saying, y'all, what have y'all accomplished with a motherfucker y'all with? And that's some shit to think about, girls. And I know y'all don't think about, but you know what? I got tired of not having shit. I got tired of a motherfucker just giving me some dick. Mm. It got to be way more than dick that you bring to the table, especially with women. You hear me? And with real women, it's time and consistency. If you ain't got that, you can't fuck with me. But that is... You couldn't have fucked with me back then. You could have fucked with me back then. A lot of stuff that I know now, I'm sick right now. Because I wish I knew this shit back then. But guess what? Stop worrying about y'all past. Stop sitting here saying, motherfucker, let me tell you something. Bitch, you who you are today because of your motherfucking past. And I tell you this all day long. I love my motherfucking past. Cause I'm the woman I am today, cause of that motherfucker. Well, hold on, what past. you say? You say you 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 do what? You don't regret your past, right? No, I love but it. Now, but listen, as at this point, you OG Frankie, right? Yeah. So what you telling bitches now? Don't live, don't don't make yourself no past like OG. Learn from OG Frankie mistakes. Yeah. That's why she here to tell you you don't do that shit because you'll be sent back with a regret. Yeah. You said it yourself. I don't regret my past, but if I knew the shit I knew yeah. now, I wouldn't be doing it. So yeah. to the bitches that's out there doing it. She telling you what you're going to get from it later on I'm in life. Just now, I'm just now getting my shit together, y'all. And and I'm, I'm keep, I don't give a fuck. I'm a real bitch. Y'all know I'm a real bitch. I'm from the hood. That mean hood is from the street. So okay? so live, live, make your future through OG Frankie Pass is what she's trying to tell y'all. Because I don't want y'all to, go to through do it. what I did. You know, give up the pussy because a motherfucker said you pretty. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fucking this motherfucker, fucking that motherfucker, fucking the motherfucker in the morning, fucking the motherfucker at night. I'm talking about this was 30 years ago and killed my two babies because I ain't know which one, which, which nigga baby it was. Twice I did it. I ain't making no excuses for Freeze. what the fuck I did. All I'm saying, you need to listen to me. You need to listen to the shit that I went through because I don't want y'all to go through it. Because I'm going to tell you something. I heard some real motherfuckers back in the day. I didn't give a fuck about niggas. I, I, I call motherfuckers, get over here. You know what I'm saying? I treated niggas like shit. And you better believe I got all that karma back when I was fucking my friends' men, when I was fucking married men. Do you understand me? You With the seeds you sold, bitch, you're going to get it back. And all I'm saying, you're going to go through it. And some people kill themselves. When it's they time to go through karma, what you put out, you will get back, ladies. If you fucking with somebody, man, and you know that they got a family. You're going to get it back just when you get happy. Mm. And you're going to be looking around like, I'm not mm. doing that no more. I'm a good girl. But you're going to pay for your karma, baby. All y'all out there got trees that's just been planted. Mm. And y'all sowing fucked up seeds. And I'm telling you, your day going to come. The way you did her, somebody going to do it to you. So if you fucking somebody, man, it's good now. It's, you, you, it's fun now. It's fun. You don't give a fuck what you're doing to that bitch at home. You don't care because you want what you want. Regardless. That you out here and you living, because you can live your life without fucking somebody's husband or somebody man. Go find some, go find a motherfucker that's single and fuck him. But everybody wants that challenge. I want to see if I can fuck her man. I want to see if I can fuck her husband. I want to smile in that bitch gonna, face. Yeah, but you're going to pay for that shit. It's all cute right now. Because you could be in your 20s and 30s and fucking. Find motherfuckers that's single that ain't got nobody. Why fuck up a household? Because your household going to be fucked up too. Your marriage going to be fucked up too. Because mm. karma is real. What is You it? hear me? Karma. It's two motherfucking things that's real out here. Karma and a motherfucking liar. Mm -hmm. You hear me? And that motherfucking lion is killing motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. That motherfucking line is killing motherfuckers. I don't know how to cut and we're going to talk about some shit tonight about two women and one man. I'm telling y'all, motherfuckers ain't looking, motherfuckers ain't paying attention to shit, but I'm telling y'all, I just started to get my shit together. And somebody told me, girl, you always had, I said, no, nah, bitch, I know how to make, I, I know how to fake the funk. I know how to make shit look good. I know how to make a motherfucker think I look like, look like I got a million motherfucking dollars. So, 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 the intro... Of this live that we got going on there. Look, we going live tonight at 10.30 on the dot. The intro, this intro that my mama just displayed to y'all, OG Frankie just gave y'all on the road. Mm. Live, make your future through a motherfucker past who's been through it. Yeah. 
talk. Make your future. Build your future through a motherfucking past so you wouldn't have to go through it. She went through it so you wouldn't have to do it. Yeah, and I fucked up. I fucked up marriages, y'all. I fucked up marriages, man. You hear me? I fucked up relationships, everything. That shit ain't cool, man. I take a friend over dick any motherfucker. Oh, guy. my. You hear me? Hold, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Say it again. Say that one I more time. I take a dick. I take a friend over a dick any motherfucker. And I'm going to tell you something right now. These, let me tell you something. Just like y'all say, these bitches for everybody, these niggas for everybody. So listen, listen. You just, what you just said, go back to what my homie said. My homie, 46 years say, old. I didn't say men. No, I said say niggas. niggas. My homie, it's 46 a... years old. I know for, he, we both know for a fact that his friends fucked his baby mama, right? Mm. Now, dude fell off. Now, dude fell off and my homie back up. Hey, his, twin. she wanted to fuck him. Right. You know what he told me when I said, man, fuck his bitch then. Gee, this was a couple years ago. Man, man, fuck his bitch. Mm. He, he fucked your baby mama. Mm. You know, he said. He said, I ain't got to be like them niggas. They chose some pussy over a friendship. I got real friendship in my heart. I got honor in my heart. I'm not going to fuck that nigga bitch because he fucked my bitch. So I'm looking at him like, boy, but he fucked your baby mama, boy, you tweaking. He like, rock, just because other niggas don't value a friendship, I value my friendship because he got to live with the fact every day that he fucked my baby mama. I'm not with that bitch right now. He did that shit 15 years ago. I ain't with his baby mama. Now, look, 15 years later, his bitch want to fuck me, but I'm so motherfucking gangsta and real, I'm not going to cross the line because he did it. So... Y'all get ready for 10 motherfucking 30 tonight. 10 30, man. Mama, get up out of here, mama. Go get yourself freshened up, man. You know what I'm talking about? We got a lot to talk about. It's going to go down. You know All what I'm saying? This is my life, and I don't want y'all to make the mistake that I did because I heard it people that truly love me. You understand me? Women and men. I heard it, but the shit was so funny. It was so funny. My head down my ass was beautiful. Skin glowing. Beautiful. I can't have anybody I wanted, but I, I, I paid for that shit. I pay, and I, I feel I'm still paying for some shit. I'm telling you, you a bad bitch when you got your own. Mm. And that's a man, too. If you got your own man, bitch, you a bad bitch. And you a bad bitch when your bitch niggas can't look at you because you're going to turn your nose up at them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's all about being respected out here in these yeah, streets. Being, it's being, if you can't be yeah. respected, you ain't got nothing. If you ain't respected out here, you and ain't I'm got a fucking thing. This, I'd rather be wanted than had. Mm. And I know a lot of y'all ain't going to get that. I'd rather be wanted by motherfuckers in the street than I can step out the door and everybody say it. I had her, I had her, I had that. Now when I know, walk in the motherfucking the room, when I walk in the motherfucking room, I own it. But can't a motherfucker in there say they fuck me. Now get out. You okay? just, when you say shit like this, it's you got to get better out. better to be wanted than had. Now get out. You both just get out when you say this right, dropping the mic. I love y'all. I'm going to take my time and talk to y'all. Hold tonight. on. Say some more real shit. Then get out the car. Wait, hold on, because he's going to open the door for you. Say some more real shit. You got to say some more real shit before you exit, mama. Say it. Okay. This, this, this is how queens be treated. This is how you exit. This is how queens be treated. This, okay, say some more my real shit. opening the door. <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> you dropped your earring in my shit. Get the fuck. Get your other earring. Get your other. You dropping all types of earrings. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, mama. The fuck out telling all that real ass shit. We got the ice already. Yeah, get the fuck out of my car. <laughs> yeah, they talking oh, that real shit. shit. They talking that real shit. Mama, 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 get the fuck out. That was some of the realest shit I've heard in my life. You gotta get the fuck out. I need y'all bitches to listen to my mama. This is the real shit ever. Get the fuck out of my car. Get the fuck out of my car. 10.30 tonight, y'all. We're going to make this shit happen tonight. You know what I'm saying? 10 motherfucking 30. But OG Frank had to get the fuck up out of here. She Look, tears was coming through my shit. Her ass was getting red. She was she was laying down some knowledge. I hope you oh, I hope you, I hope hope you. you new hoes trying to turn y'all life around tonight. Because it's time for you bitches to stop sucking everybody's dick out here, folks. Goodbye.